Hey guys, sick of ordering Amazon wigs and not getting the product that you actually paid for? Well, stay tuned and get some tips and tricks on how to make that unit look like you want it to. All right, so this unit is from Hot Kiss, um, another Amazon vendor. Here are the a few things that came inside of the packaging with the unit. Um, also a thank you card uh, for purchasing from them. And this is how it looks when it comes out of the packaging. Any information you want on the unit will be down in the description box as I stated. But look at it, it looks like your old typical grandma wig. Doesn't look anything like um, the picture that advertises the unit. But it does come with a comb on the front and the back, but no combs on the side. I wanted to show you how I mold my hair down. I mold it down so that it's flat all the way around the nape so that you don't get that bulk in the back. Now, if you want to braid your hair down or however you want to do it, just keep in mind that it will not be as flat in the back as it is as if you molded it down. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is pop this baby on my mannequin head. Um, if you need a mannequin head or a wig stand, the information to this uh, mannequin head and wig stand will be down in the description box. But what I'm doing right here is um, clamping up the bang and top portion of the wig so I can identify what the sides and the back actually look like so I can see what I need to do. And what I do is thin it out. Now disclaimer, if you are not used to using clippers, please do not use them simply because I am. This is how I thin out my sides and back. It's faster for me to use the clippers than it is for me to use the scissors. But if you are not familiar with clippers, please don't use them. All right, so next all you gotta do is just wet the sides and back and then put you some foam wrap on it. The foam wrap is what we're gonna use to mold the sides and the back down so it'll be as flat as possible so it doesn't give that old lady look. And as you can see, adding the foam wrap really flattens it out. And I comb mine to the side just to give it some type of dimension um, so it just isn't flat and plain looking. Again, not a requirement to get the flat look, it's just the way that I do it. All right, now we take neck strips and we're gonna tie it down with some neck strips so we can get it prepared to go under the dryer. And I put it under the dryer for like 45 minutes and um, then I took the neck strips off and combed it out to see how flat I got it. And as you can see, it's pretty flat. It's laying down perfectly. Then you just take your time and comb it out all the way around. So now I put the unit on my head so I can see how it fits and how it looks. And then I carve out my ears. And again, I'm using the clippers, but if you're not good with clippers, please do not use it. I am not gonna be responsible for you messing up your unit, okay? Use scissors or whatever it is that you are good at cutting your hair with i'm comfortable with using the clippers now take it i am comfortable using clippers but it takes me a minute to get it how i want it and i just sit and take my time to do this i don't rush through it i comb it and whatever it is that i need to do and I just keep poking at it, poking at it until I get it where I want it. And I mean, basically the same thing you would do if you're using scissors. You just keep messing with it until you get it however you want it to look. And as you can see, I'm not going all gung-ho with these clippers. I'm doing a little bit at a time until I get it where I want it. Now, once I'm good with how I got everything um, laid down, I put it back on the mannequin so I can 
get all of those flurry pieces that I saw behind my ear and on my nape and pretty much just shape it up. Again, use the scissors if you need to, but um, I usually just shape up with the clippers um, once I put it back on the mannequin head. And again, I just take my time. I don't rush through this part. I just take my time. But look at how flat it's laying now. That looks like a good taper, right? All right, so once you're done shaping it up how you want to shape it up, Go ahead and take those clips out. I'm using some heat spray. Um, the information on this heat spray will be down in the description box. And um, now I'm just going to take and flatten it, curl it, whatever I need to do to style it in the way um, that I'm trying to get my unit to look. Now you can go for the picture that you saw on the Amazon page or you could go for just whatever look you you know you desire me myself personally i really don't know what i'm going for i'm just gonna get in it start styling and see you know where it leads me All right, so after you got it how you want it on that mannequin head, it's time for you to pop it on your head and see what you're working with. I mean, you're really not going to know what all finish and tuck in any way until you get it on your head and get to messing with it. And from here, you just style it how you want it to look. Cute, huh? Look like a completely different unit now. So what do you guys think? I think it's really pretty. I think it is a nice cut pixie wig. It's really sleek. It's flat, no bulking, it's pretty, and you can style it however you want. All right, you guys, so here we are with the finished look. So I decided I wanted to keep my bangs in my face, but you don't have to. You can actually wear the bangs however you want. You can rake them out of your face so that both of your eyes are showing. Or if you just want to cover one eye. It's pretty much up to you how you want to wear this. I mean, the style, the styling is kind of unlimited with this wig. You could style it so many so ways. If you wanted to keep the bangs in your face but you don't want it necessarily over your ears, then just rake it like that. And you can wear it like this. Now, if you're finding that you're having trouble keeping it out of your face, you can always take a hairpin, a simple hairpin, and just stick it wherever you feel the need for it to be to keep it where you want it, like so. Like that. Now, please keep in mind, you do not need to do all of the steps that I did to get the look that I was looking for. You can simply just use the, um, the Nairobi foam wrap and flatten it 
and just let it dry without having to shave and cut and do all of that just so that it looks a little flatter i prefer to to thin it out first and then flatten it and then shape it how i want it to go over my ears that's that just works best for me but you do not have to do all of those steps whatever is going to give you the look that you're looking for that's what you do i would probably wear it like this because i can handle that you know somewhat in my eyes like this um, I cut it to fit like this. Of course, a lot of people won't want that, but you don't have to do it like that. You can cut it to fit however you want. You can rake it to style it to however you want. This is your unit. You fix it however you want to to get the style and look that you are looking for. For me, I think this is the cutest way for me to wear it. Just a little sideburn with the bangs going behind the ear and dropping down over my eye <laughs> all right you guys so that's it for tonight's video i really hope that this has helped someone i know it's frustrating when you order a wig off amazon and it comes out the packaging looking nothing like what you expected so if this has helped you out in any way please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to drop me a comment and tell me what you think and as always i hope you subscribe Thanks again for tuning in tonight and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.